Clearly, when we put the Duke body on top of the GTR chassis, the first problem that we come across is that the wheelbase is different by about 250 millimetres. This means that because of torsional activity, we also have to make sure that it's strong enough. The way that we've worked out how much to shorten the GTR running gear by is by looking at the manufacturer specifications for wheelbase and then physically measuring the cars as well. The GTR runs a pair of prop shafts, one going back from the engine to the gearbox and another one going forwards to provide the front wheels with power. While we're having to remanufacture the main prop shafts, carbon in the GTR, it will be larger diameter steel variant in the Duke car and for the return prop we've got a shortened variant of the steel donor part. The driver experience changing gear in the Duke car will be exactly the same as in the GTR. This was some of the work that we did and proved with the short wheelbase uh, feasibility study. In order to make sure that the spec of the chassis is strong enough, we did some stiffness testing and set ourselves that as the goal for the Ducar platform. Ducar is shaping up to be a real driver's car, but the driver has to be in the best possible position to reach all the controls to make the most of it. It's time to look into the art of ergonomics.